thing, this video is controversial, just so you know. A little while back I made a video called I Have One Hand. It was basically a video about all the exciting things to do with this situation and why I'm like this. Uh, you can see this video by clicking the description down below or there'll be a cute little thing here. Lots of people commented and tweeted me after watching that video saying that I should watch a uh, YouTuber called Josh Sunquist. He's a really awesome guy who basically discusses loads of different things to do with him having one leg. He does really creative videos and I was instantly a subscriber so you guys should definitely check him out if you haven't heard him already. I then created a video about a television advert I saw. It was about this really awesome woman called Victoria Modesta who's an amputee and Channel 4 and her clubbed together to create this amazing advert. This started to make me think. I mean in my eyes, not everybody's eyes, but in my eyes, the TV industry is really beginning to change in how it casts people and how it views upon people and it's really exciting. I mean Channel 4 are doing so much right now and I don't know, it makes me really happy. IMG Models, a huge model agency, signed Victoria Modesta. Now, this is crazy. A huge model agency signed a woman with one leg. This is huge, guys. I mean, Victoria Modesta is a woman with one leg who is absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing, but still, and I'm very excited about this. However, I then got a message from a girl um, who really wanted to start a YouTube channel but was worried because she has a disability. In her words, there must be a reason why there are no YouTubers with disabilities out there. Why is there not tons of YouTubers with disabilities on here? It could be because people with disabilities are scared they'll get hate. Because, let's face it, if someone has a spot, people usually point it out in the comments below let alone if they're a bit abnormal. It could be because we're not as inviting as an audience, or maybe it's because YouTube aren't as inviting when it comes to disability as other industries are right now. I mean, 15% of the world's population has some form of a disability. So where's the 15% on YouTube? In all seriousness, I'm not sure how to solve this situation. The only thing I could think of doing was by creating this video telling everyone out here to support diversity in all forms on YouTube. Let's encourage unique individuals to go into this community on this website. Let's change the community for the better. And by this, I don't mean, oh, like me, because I have one hand, I have a disability, support me. Also, please feel free to tell me if there are any YouTubers out there who are unique and diverse because I would really like to check them out. I feel like I'd connect with them and I'd find it really interesting. And I definitely don't know everything, so there probably are some that I don't know about. YouTube's meant to be an accepting community. And to a huge extent it is. I just think YouTubers should reflect the real world. And in the real world there are people who have disabilities. Nobody's the same in the world. And I think we should reflect this on YouTube. I really hope that you can share the word and we can make this community, I don't know, even more awesome. This should be encouraged and I really would appreciate it if you shared it. This, as I said, is a controversial video. I'm sure people have different opinions to mine and I would really like to hear them. If we can make one person feel better about themselves or we can change someone's perception or view upon disability or a diversity by sharing this video then I just think it would be really great. Surely you do too. Thank you very much guys. Over and out. <sighs> I feel like that was a really hard topic to talk about because I feel really strongly about it but yeah I have to look at it from a different perspective. I don't know. Oh god. What have I put on the internet? Thanks for watching. Ah.